We are such responsive creatures. It is so easy to return a warm smile or a cheerful greeting. Likewise, when people are stoic and curt, it's remarkably easy to return the favor. The general rule we play by is that if someone is nice to us, we tend to be nice back. If they are not nice, then why should we be? We tend to categorize people into nice people and not nice people. But if you think about it, the people whom we think are nice people are people who are nice to us. Right now, think of one person whom you used to think wasn't a very nice person, but whom you now think is friendly and sweet. Chances are your change of opinion was triggered by one pleasant interaction where he or she was really nice to you. So if someone is nice to us first, then we'll very quickly determine that that person is a nice person. But the thing is, we don't really know how to make someone be nice to us. For example, when we want good customer service, and we don't get it. We frown and we're curt and we respond in a sullen and unfriendly manner. What we're essentially trying to do is to force someone to be more pleasant by making our displeasure clear. Are any of us surprised when that does not work? It's only logical that our own bad behavior won't bring out the best in people. We cannot force people to be pleasant through unpleasantness. We cannot make someone be nicer to us by showing them how unhappy we are with them. It defies logic. By giving warmth first and always, we are giving people reasons to respond positively to us. And that usually means not responding to other people's lack of care or curtness, but always interacting in a way that will draw out the niceness in them. This is not about expectations, but rather strengthening the odds of positive interactions in the total sum of all the interactions that we are bound to have with people in our lives. We have a tendency to want power and influence, which indicates that we believe that it is possible to have power and influence over people. So that means that it is entirely possible for us to also believe that we have the power to influence people into niceness. The only way to influence people into being nice to us is to be logical about it. Intimidation, curtness, displeasure, and nonchalance won't work. We have to first give warmth and happiness to be happy always.